Alright, Beastrals. I just got done failing two fucking videos that cost me 40 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. However, I'm here to tell you uh, that because I found the review of Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn uh, too uh, strenuous to do without this, uh, visual, visual representation of what I was trying to explain, I figured I would just do it this way. I will tell you what I think of the game. Is it better than the first three games? Arguably. Uh, it has no English voice acting whatsoever. If you play this game, you will have to play it subbed. There is an option to turn subtitles off. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Um, unless you speak and understand Japanese. If so, go for it. Uh, of course, uh, well, since it's so minutes after midnight, it came out yesterday, and I have no shame in admitting I have played the absolute living fuck out of it. Um, and I will continue to do so up into the night and tomorrow. Um, so, <sighs> they brought back official mode, they brought in ultimate mode. Ultimate mode is sort of a clusterfuck. Uh, official mode is okay with uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, Char's Counter Attack, Gundam Unicorn, Gundam Seed, and Gundam Seed Destiny. Those are all the animes. That, well, I mean, Char's Counter Attack is uh, a movie, but um, excuse me, I'm gonna take a quick drink. The uh, official mode is better than the uh, first game, not as good as the second one. The reason I tell you it's not as good as the second one is because the second one, if you played it, it had like little information things that would come up. And it would give you a mission, and then it would have little facts, and it would tell you the age of the characters and stuff. And I felt it was a lot more detailed. This one throws in a lot more scenes from the anime. It has a lot more characters, insignificant or uh, or no. Um, all the cutscenes are good. You can play as mobile armors in this game, uh, which of course, big fucking Zam, right, bruh? Um, the game is fantastic. Um, that's coming from a fan. Now, obviously, my opinion is biased because I love Gundam and I love Dynasty Warriors. Now, I read, uh, I was just watching a trailer for the game and somebody's like, Dynasty Warriors and Gundam? That is a fucking lie. This game is nothing like Dynasty Warriors. Well, yeah, see, it actually sort of kind of is, yeah. Um, uh, the database... In which you can go through and read characters, uh, their bios and shit. It's a lot more refined. How they have characters diversified up is a lot better. Uh, the official mode for Gundam Unicorn, um, and this will only make a shit to those who have seen the anime, and you will be left with a bad ending because... The Gundam Unicorn ending in this game, it only follows through to episode 6. I am sorry, it does not have all 7 episodes in there. Um, so, you will be left hanging. And I am sorry, it disappointed me as well, but of course this game was made and technically released before the last episode was. I'm going to look up when the last episode of it was. Right the fuck now. And I actually have a page open to where I can do so easily. Fuck, I accidentally clicked on Zeta. Gundam Unicorn Episode 7. Was released May 24th, or at least it was put on here. I'm... I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say late May of 2014. This came out December of 2013 originally. That means that this game was probably done around, I'm going to go ahead and say maybe September or October 
last year. So, there you go. I'm sorry. The game is good. It's solid. Would I recommend it? Yes. If you have a problem with no dub, don't get it. This game has a lot of dialogue, and I do mean a lot. Uh, between all of the the official mode is a large part of this game, uh, and that's mainly it. Takes some scenes from the anime, and then it, it's just it's heavily dialogue and story based. So, if the fact that you're going to be hearing a lot of Japanese and going to have to read a lot of subtitles is going to bother you. Do not get this game. I will tell you now, you will be bothered if you have a problem with having to read subtitles. Uh, animation is good. Does the game look better than uh, the others? Well, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3 sacrificed a lot to look better. So, no, it doesn't look as good as Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. However, the gameplay is actually fun again. And the game still looks excellent. It's obviously an upgrade to Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. But it's not quite as good as Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. However, like I said, it's brought fun back. Um... Uh, and uh, the ultim ultimate mode, uh, which is sort of like the original mode, in which they have these different operations with, uh, you know, these unique kind of stories to them. It's a little bit of a clusterfuck, like I said. It's, it's hard to understand. Um, there's a lot of tutorial stuff to go through. Uh, I highly recommend you, you do official mode first and you do a lot of that. Uh... before you hop into ultimate mode and I think that's how it was made as far as uh, downloadable stuff uh, nothing yet um, no DLC none of that Japanese DLC yet they'll probably release that uh, fairly soon so I recommend the game it's Easily, I could easily say it's solid, but I feel like it's better than solid. I feel it's good. I believe I can easily say that it is good. And have no regrets. The card system is interesting, but once again, that's why I didn't do the full review, because... That card shit is hard to explain how you actually go about unlocking stuff in the game. Uh, uh, but essentially they have challenges in the form of cards that you can unlock. And uh, uh, the challenges you, you have from the get-go, right? All the challenges are open to complete, and as you complete them, it'll come in the form of a collectible card. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. You might have more luck finding somebody else on YouTube going about it. Get the game. It's 40 bucks On PlayStation Network, PlayStation 3 only. It is not out on the PlayStation 4. It is not out on the 360. It is not out on your Xbox One. And it will not be. Uh, as well... I can't speak for the PS4 because it'll probably get released on there. And in the, in, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, the not so close future. I don't want to say distant, but I'll say easily several several months from now. It's it's gonna be down the road a ways. Yeah. <sighs> But if you have a PlayStation 3, you can connect to the PlayStation Network. If you don't mind paying $40 for a digital download, there is no physical copies here in the U.S., boys. Uh, if you live in the U.K., they will have physical copies at your nearby game stores. I believe that's the chain store in the U.K., right? It's game. You let me know on that one. 
thanks for watching everybody it's easily recommended uh, big fucking zam people big zam